Greetings. I'm Roberta Papara, a Dominican sister of Cincinnati. Today's preaching is the, for the 32nd Sunday in Ordinary Time, November 7th, 2021. Let us prepare for this time of reflection with a moment of silence and prayer. Let us pray. Jesus, you are the bread of life. You feed us in word and sacrament. As we ponder today's gospel from Mark, may our hearts become more generous and our lives reflect your love for the world. We pray in your holy name. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Mark. In the course of his teaching, Jesus said to the crowds, Beware of the scribes who go around in long robes and accept greetings in the marketplaces, seats of honor in the synagogues, and places of honor at banquets. They devour the houses of widows and as a pretext recite lengthy prayers. They will receive severe condemnation. Jesus sat down across from the treasury and observed how the crowd put money into the treasury. Many rich people put in large sums. A poor widow also came and put two small coins worth a few cents. Calling his disciples to himself, he said to them, Amen, I say to you, this poor widow put in more than all the other contributors to the treasury, for they have all contribu contributed from their surplus wealth. But she, from her poverty, contribu contributed all she had, her whole livelihood. The Gospel of the Lord. We are coming to the end of the year, the liturgical year, in which the Gospel of Mark has been our companion. <clears throat> Recent Sunday Gospel readings, including today's, recount events in the life of Jesus, having entered Jerusalem for the last time. I was tempted to only read the story about the widow, there is an option for this Sunday, but as you know, we heard the whole reading. We are given a contrast in piety and generosity. We also could think that Jesus had an issue with all scribes. Yet just a few Sundays ago, <clears throat> we heard the account of a scribe asking Jesus about the greatest commandment. In their exchange, Jesus saw the faith of the scribe had and said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. I don't know about you, but I would be thrilled if Jesus saw that I was on that path as well. With today's gospel passage, Jesus mints no words about the hypocrisy of many scribes, though. Beware, he says, beware of the scribes who go around in long robes and accept greetings in the marketplace. Beware, because they want the seats of honor in the synagogue. Beware, they want the places of honor at the banquets. Jesus continues, saying, they devour the houses of the widows while reciting lengthy prayers. Jesus observes life right in front of him, of the scribes and of the widows, one of which he points out in the midst of the rich people's generous donations out of their surplus. A widow gives her last small coins. 
She is not unlike the poor widow in the Old Testament reading from 1 Kings that you will hear at Mass for this Sunday. In that account, the prophet Elijah implores her to provide a bit of bread for him. She tells him she has only enough to provide for her and her son for their last meal. He encourages her, though, to go ahead and make the bread and make some for him as well. She does this, and out of this generosity comes the miracle that she and her son have food that will last them a year. Both of these widows, from the Old Testament and the New Testament, give all they had living into an unknown, unpredictable future. In Mark's Gospel, the account we heard today, as I mentioned, it's during the time of Jesus' last visit to Jerusalem. The readings for these last Sundays of the liturgical year from Mark's Gospel are all moving towards the account of passion death and resurrection of Jesus. Jesus, like the widow, has been giving all he has. He has been offering it, pouring it out, letting his words and actions fall on the ground that is fertile, some fertile and receptive, full of faith, others fertile, full of doubt, and some fertile, with denial. The widow becomes a metaphor for what lays ahead for Jesus, the giving of all he has for all humanity. From this place in Mark's Gospel, Jesus gives his last instructions to his disciples before the unfolding story of his passion takes place. For our reflection this week, first I have a suggestion. In these last weeks for this liturgical year, take time to read Mark's Gospel starting at chapter 11 to the end of the Gospel. Take a few uh, lines each day from chapter 11 to the end. And specifically for this week, we can ask ourselves these reflection questions. What does it mean for us to give all we have for the sake of God's mission? What steps are possible right now? What does it mean for us to give all we have for the sake of God's mission? And what are the first steps that we can take right now? And let us conclude with a prayer. Holy God, you encourage us to share the bounties of our lives, no matter how little or how much. Give us the grace to be generous of heart, mind, and actions. We ask the gift of faithful strength. In Jesus' name, amen.